vintage mug. It's so cute. I found it at an antique mall. Probably one of my top mugs and like the top 10 for sure. It is just so cute and unique. I don't even know what year this is. Before I get into this haul, I feel like it's important that I tell you guys a dream I had the other night. Um, yeah, you're gonna unsubscribe probably after this ridiculous conversation, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyway. So I dreamt that I went to Dollar Tree and there was a box in the store. And at the time I didn't know what this box was. And I brought it home with me and I was doing the haul for you guys. And I was like, you guys, look what I found for $1.25. And when I opened the box, I knew exactly what it was. It was empty. And I was like, Dollar Tree is now selling air. I said it with a straight ass face. And uh, then I noticed there were holes in the box. So it wasn't like special air, you know, it wasn't imported from like Kilimanjaro or I don't know, the freaking moon. It was just an empty box, and I was so excited because it was $1.25. And when I woke up, I knew I, I had hit rock bottom. Now, if I had to unpack that dream, I think what it's trying to tell me is that anything Dollar Tree sells, I would buy. Well, if anyone's still here, I'm going to do this Dollar Tree haul. So let me show you this jackpot. Um, this was actually from the last Dollar Tree video. I'll link it down below. I did like a shop with me, um, took you guys along and was just kind of like, you know, sometimes like I always say, I have like certain things, certain reasons I want to be in Dollar Tree. And then my favorite times though are when I just kind of go in with without any expectations and this was that kind of haul i'm gonna start off with this bag first as usual i'm just gonna pull it random i have not pre-sorted any of this all right so i grabbed the coloring books but these are easter my dollar tree starting to set up like sections now that valentine's day has moved out and i love how my dollar trees are doing it they're setting it up in a way where they're putting out everything to complete an Easter basket and that that I just really love. So we've got some coloring books. They are absolutely adorable and they're also going to be great for a care package or if you're like me and you love coloring books, you could also pick one up for yourself. I do a mixture. I love children's coloring books and I also love adult coloring books. It just kind of depends on like how I'm feeling. All right, then I picked up this little, wait a second. This was the mystery bag, wasn't it? I'm like, this, I've already, I've already done this. Yeah, this is the mystery bag that was part of that video. So I'm going to go ahead and show it anyways in here and I'll just flip through it quickly. Um, but yeah, cute little new notebook. I love that there's a design on the inside of the page. That's what makes this one stand out. They had multiple options. But that was just the one that I got. I picked up these beautiful stickers. They just give me Beauty and the Beast. So I'm going to do some kind of like Disney princess, you know, themed junk journal. I picked up these rhinestone hearts. I've actually been looking for them. So I got yellow, red, and blue. I also got pink, but they're in another bag, I believe. I picked up these Elmo flashcards, but I picked up these specifically because they have a yellow trim to it. So I thought those were super cute. They're going to be great for journaling. Let me just show you guys how cute these actually are for journaling. So look at that. On one side, you get just the letter. Like that's very plain, very chic. I don't know. I don't think that's the right word, okay? But like, they're just nice. And then on the other side, you get these cute little images of, you know, the whole Sesame Street gang. Um, so I picked up those. I also picked up the Jumbo Disney playing cards. 
here's what they kind of look like at a glance i love the jumbo cards i'm still waiting for the originals to kind of come back in stock i think i've bought them all um so yeah so i just picked up those in the meantime and then i found these two books this is something i've been collecting at dollar tree they are the hard um case is that what it's called yeah hard case crime books they have this little yellow flag on it and i love them because they kind of have like this vintagey 50s 60s look to it it kind of reminds me of that movie movie moby dick and madonna's in it is no not moby dick what the hell am i saying what what is in my coffee what's that movie dick tracy i was close it you know um but yeah so i really love these covers and yeah i am straight up collecting them from dollar tree a dollar 25 because i want to when i have enough i kind of want to put them on display somehow in my office then i found this one which looks really interesting uh it's a reign of serpents there's actually four i think to the series it shows you the other three i don't listen i don't think we're gonna find the other three but if you found the other ones comment and let us all know what you're seeing at your dollar trees excuse me but this says a prince will rise to power or madness and a princess will become a queen and blood magic will rule them all i love that it's definitely in the fantasy realm and i need i need a good book to read so we're gonna give that a go and then i showed you guys that i also picked up the mini uno cards also great for junk journaling that's why i picked these up but i also think the size is great especially for traveling i can't go anywhere with micah from a travel perspective unless we have uno like we've always traveled with uno so i love the mini versions so i got those and then this beautiful carrot garland um it's just i love the quality of this i love how rustic it is uh, be very gentle with this as you're working with it for sure and it's a great size for like your tear tray as well you could definitely cut it down if you need to it's also going to be cute to decorate the inside of a care package as well um, and then obviously great for any kind of like draping over you know fireplace mantle or an entryway table i love how the carrots are horizontal that is very interesting to me it's kind of genius i didn't realize that, that it was like that all right so that was from that bag that i hauled now let's get into a new bag that you guys have not yet seen um you probably saw in the shop with me that i found these they did end up in my cart and they are dry shampoos if you're into dry shampoos um definitely be on the lookout with dollar tree because they'll just put out like random ones like this every so often it's by power stick so it's a pretty big brand uh this is the floral scent and the classic scent i know there's been like a whole thing about dry shampoo and like cancer related and recall so just do a double check um and make sure this is just something that you do want to use this is a refreshing and a revitalizing although does anyone ever like see a difference when they they try to sell the same product but with like two different possible outcomes but do you ever get a difference i don't know comment and let me know because what's the difference between refreshing and revitalizing what's that supposed to look like you know but anyways uh did find those at dollar tree okay then i did decide to pick up the little gnome garlands they're cute you guys already know how i feel about them like okay dollar tree we get it all the gnome stuff let's let's move on to something else like i really love that they're giving us bumblebees that's really nice but i just feel like the gnome thing is slightly overplayed out at this point but i do have to admit that they are still really cute right? I, I don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up so that you guys can just kind of see what each little gnome kind of looks like there is a glitter detail i like how they kind of have like that bunny the bunny ears so that's really cute so that's that pattern that has some stripes and polka dots this one looks like we're getting some plaid some plaid um gnomes 
Looks like we're getting three colors, the green, the blue, and the pink. Okay, these are actually really cute. Also, you can deconstruct these and use them, whether in junk journaling, um, you know, maybe on the cover of your journal, things like that. And then the last one just looks like maybe a solid. Yeah, just good solid color hats. But glitter, lots of fallout glitter. Oh yeah, it's all over my pants. Nothing that a little hairspray can't fix though. So keep that in mind. I saw this on Dollar Tree's website. So um, I definitely wanted to find it in the store again with the gnomes. And they're just labeled as like decor. I think, yeah, they're individual pieces, by the way. So whether you want to use this for crafting somehow or even in a tear tray, how I think this would be really cute is you could take, let me just kind of demonstrate here. Let's go for an orange one. And I've done this before with Valentine's Day. So simple, so cute, easy to do. You go to Dollar Tree, you get a white mug, take a little bit of a hot glue, and then you glue it to the mug, and then you style it in a tear tray, right? So obviously this wouldn't be something that you would wanna put in a dishwasher. So it's gonna be purely for decorative purposes, but just so that you guys kind of have like, you know, a general idea. I've done that before with like red glitter hearts from Dollar Tree, and it actually is my favorite thing of my like Valentine's Day tear tray. So these would be really cute for all kinds of little crafts, Especially if you love doing like those stack books look, you could use these two somehow in that. All right, next up, I did get three, I actually got three packs of these, I guess this wasn't that bag. I did get a bag of these blue, what do they call these? Glass gems. Yeah, so I don't even know how many you get in here. It just gives a weight, um, but so pretty. These have been around for as long as I can remember at Dollar Tree. They're not anything new, but I'm going to be using these for a future junk journal. So stay tuned. Oh, here are the pink hearts. I got two sheets of each color that I just showed you guys. And then I did pick up the bags. I was looking for the red. The red are super cute. These are treat bags. And then I got another packet of the yellow. These are my, my newest favorite obsession with junk journaling. Um, if you guys hang out with me during my lives, then you see how I use these bags. And I'm definitely gonna pull for this yellow one next or this Sunday. So join me this Sunday on a YouTube live on this channel. And I'm just gonna do some junk journaling. If you just kind of wanna see how I use all these Dollar Tree things. Um, and then I did pick up these cute little coloring books. There's everything about this is so adorable to me. Like I love how they package the markers. I love how vibrant and colorful the covers are. I also like how uniform they are as well. So I found Hansel and Gretel and Pinocchio, but you know how I am. I know Dollar Tree does things in fours, if not more. And I'm just kind of curious what else is out there but it's like a little activity sheet you know pick one of these up throw it in your purse if you're like going to a restaurant or you know somewhere you gotta wait in line like freaking dmv and you know things like that these are just like good little things to have on hand um all right then this probably this is probably saying this i don't know maybe it's too much but the soaps i think shocked me the most out of anything so first of all this is what we've only ever seen at dollar tree is this original one that is orange the pears soap now this went viral a couple months back tiktok made it go viral um because girls were using it to kind of like get their you know eyebrow spoolie brush dip it in water and then dip a bit of it into this soap specifically and then they were kind of like waxing it over their eyebrows to kind of like i don't know seal everything in um so this really went viral and now for the first time ever we have the green soap and the blue soap i didn't even know this existed period let alone at dollar tree so that's really that's amazing to me also oddly enough one of my other guilty pleasures 
of watching certain videos on YouTube is soap cutting. Does anyone else watch soap cutting videos? And I love when they do the soap that's clear like this. I don't know why. Uh, ASMR gets me, man. All right, that's that bag. Now we have this massive bag. And he really stuffed this thing full. Now, this is the best, the best Easter stuff I've ever seen from Dollar Tree. So, let's just, let's go. This sign is absolutely beautiful. We get it in the pink and the blue. What I like about it is its simplicity, but also the design just looks so nice. What? It's just very much farmhouse. They didn't overdo it. That can be something that I think Dollar Tree does sometimes a little too often is they'll just, they almost have it. And then they do something wrong to the sign. It's like, oh no, you know, but this, this is really nice. It says blessings down vertically. And then we've got every bunny welcome. This one's probably my favorite. Um, the bunny is so cute. I love how it how it looks like a sketch Yeah, it just very much is giving me Almost kind of like a French country Farmhouse look to it and I love the plaid of the pink and the blue So that was so pretty. I also found this Little sign. Did I get the other one? There were so many you guys i didn't even get them all but they had another one i think it had a bunny but i really liked the chick i like how the egg is cracked on top and then the rest of it on the bottom this is pretty random but i guess he put this loot bag in there as well this has the pink stars i'm gonna be using this for one of my next etsy kits release because this is just such a cute bag it's kind of gonna kind of gonna go with my theme and yeah so this has been around for a long time by the way and they have different patterns i had to get the pink stars though so i got that then i picked up these oh uh, oh wow that's interesting look at this tag i've never seen crafter square show us a diy item and then like show a picture of how to use it but they're saying that it's a wreath rail so essentially these little slits are for the mesh wreathing is that a thing the wreath no it's not um so you can definitely diy your bunny however you want and then they give you the slits for that which i didn't even know i just now noticed this tag for me when i looked at it, i was like oh it's like that's kind of a cool concept it looks very farmhousey um but yeah that's that's leaving me kind of shook. So here is this one with the truck and the bunny. And then just to show you guys how they have the picture on here. That is cute. It could really turn into a nice little centerpiece if, you know, you're going to do something like that. All right, then I did pick up these, like, welcome mats. So I'll show you guys all the ones that I found. I'll never forget the first time that I saw Dollar Tree do welcome mats. I was shook. That was like years ago. But so here's that one. We have this gnome one. The gnome one's actually really cute. I like it because it's so colorful. It's if I look kind of far away, it's giving me strawberry shortcake, but it's gnomes. So that's really cute. I love me some strawberry shortcake. And then we have this one very colorful and then the last one's probably my favorite the yellow and the pink with the floral so that's very lovely all right let me look in this bag and see i did pick up the little fairy i think i actually have this book now that i look at it um but yeah i just decided to pick it up again and they have some cute little images i love how they're kind of like squared out that would be really easy to junk journal with, by the way. So I got that little book. And then I did pick up the window clings. As most of you know, I don't actually put these on my windows. I've always used window clings with like advent calendars and my planner. So I got these. 
super cute i will say though my sister-in-law was telling me that when she was flying here she flew here by herself with my niece and nephew and their flight was delayed three hours she but they were already in the plane and i'm just like oh, you know with two kids and she said what saved her were window clings that she picked up but like the the gooey kind and she said that kept my little nephew just completely focused and yeah so hey window clings for the win all right let's see what else is in here okay the rest are easter signs um so let's get into it because you're just not gonna believe it all right so i picked up these little bunnies now i feel like they were out last year weren't they i don't know maybe not but they are super cute i love how their little feet are kind of like a dangly piece these would look really cute in the center of a wreath honestly that's where i would personally put them um just because of the way that they did the feet i just think hanging in the center of a wreath would look really nice i love this one with like the pastel little rainbow effect that's very pretty and then we have this one with the pink and the blue also very pretty seriously hard to choose my favorite i also love the little like blush on each of the bunnies so cute so we got that one okay then i found this one which you gotta run and get this one because i just yeah dollar tree has definitely stepped up their game in the last five years I mean, when I think back to some of the first hauls I was doing, I've been hauling for like 11 years, 10, 11 years now on YouTube. And let me tell you, the last five years, if you've been with me, you know they've stepped up their game. So uh, this is super cute. They had another version of this, but this was the one I liked. Every bunny welcome. And then you get this little um, like garland effect, which by the way, pick yourself up a second one if you want to keep one intact and then you can get a second one and you can pluck this off and use it to drape on a tear tray like that would be so cute so we've got that all right next up what do i show you guys next i'm like okay let's do these because are you guys okay because this is so chic and pretty. I love that it's black and white, it's very modern farmhouse. And I just think that's so lovely, especially since with Easter, they tend to always push color in pastels, you know? So it's just nice to get something like this there. Happy Easter Cottontails Farm Fresh Eggs. Now, I don't know if they're doing the eggs part just to like throw it in our face, but like, we you know, neither here nor there. Um, so super pretty and then this one is like bunny trail farms egg hunts daily 25 cents a basket so 25 cents where the hell's that where is that at um but yeah i just i'm really loving the the black and white of this so super pretty okay what what do i go for next all right, I'm going for these because I am saving what I think is the best for last. I thought these were going to be last. Like, it's really almost quite there. But this sign, I just can't deal. I love the blue truck with the carrots. And then we've got the little beads at the top. So pretty. Center of a wreath. It's just going to look so luxe and beautiful. It says, welcome to our carrot patch that's just everything and then we have the little white one with the pink truck filled with a bunny and easter eggs welcome to cottontail farms this cottontail farms that they're doing i really like that that sentiment verbiage whatever super cute also i want to point out that there's an additional layer right here over the wheels so it just gives it something extra so so lovely all right and save what i think is the best for last and here you go this one 
if there's any sign like if I could just if I had to go into Dollar Tree and only get one sign it's this one immediately this cotton patch locally grown here at the top bunnies on either side love the little plaid detail in the ribbon egg hut and fresh product open daily I even love the shape of the sign so and then we have Easter egg farms bunny treats sold here the black text does have a glitter comment vote let me know which sign out of all the signs I just showed you is your favorite and that's gonna be it for today's haul I hope you guys enjoyed I I will say this if you've made it to the end I promise you that you know what actually I don't know actually I don't know if I can promise this to you I don't know that I won't be here with a box that's empty and it's air and it's sold by Dollar Tree and I won't be like look at what I found guys like you know um but yeah so that was a really weird dream but I really love this haul. All the Easter stuff is blowing my mind. I love this store. I think that's why I'm like dreaming these things because I just, Dollar Tree can never do any wrong for me. But yeah, so if you're just as obsessed as I am, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think it's gonna be an Amazon haul. It's gonna be a try on, a bunch of new jewelry and pieces that I found. So come back, hang out with me and I'll show you guys what I find. Bye.